Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are here to announce another game in the preseason tournament of season 10. And quite frankly, folks, when it comes to these two players, the rest of us are just window dressing. Compared to these two players, we're all like putting lipstick on a pig. Mike the Measuring Stick Patrosic versus Tim Henriquez in the third round of Season 10's Preseason Tournament. 3-2-1. Let's get this thing going. Eternia All-Stars versus Austrian Oaks. I don't know who to hate more. Looks like the uh, Attorney All Stars will kick off. Here comes Iron. Is this Jeremy Irons? Modest return, but given how short the kick was, the field position's going to be solid. Quarterback runs. We're going to get a steady diet of those. It's good for you. It's full of fiber, keeps you regular. Ah, oh, the defense will call this one. I just watched the G.I. Joe, or announced the G.I. Joe game with uh, the Oaks, and um, they did not fare well against the QB runs. Looks like the All-Stars are a little more prepared for such debauchery. The punt is off, and here comes Merman from his own 29 Crosses the 35, almost to the 40. Very good field position for the All-Stars. They'll start in shotgun formation. And it is that play. Oh, my goodness. Riddle of Steel will take him down for a sack. It'll be second and long already. Same play. Throwing into coverage. And uh, oof, somebody there in the backfield was diving around. And a run play straight up the middle to make that three consecutive terrible plays by the Attorney All-Stars offense. And they will put it right back to Tim Henriquez. Austrian Oaks. Here comes Jeremy Irons. Kind of an instant replay of the last return. Short kick. Modest return. Decent field position. And here goes Arnold. Doing Arnold things. Ah, touchdown, Austrian Oaks. And folks, Austrian Oaks doing Austrian Oaks things. I heard they actually booked their tickets to the finals already of the preseason tournament. Another missed extra point, Bobby. What are you doing? You just messing with the code every chance you get. Merman looking to counter punch the Austrian Oaks. So here we go, All Stars. Time to wake up. You don't want to get down two scores to the Mighty Oaks. First down. That play looked pretty crisp. Line plunge gets nowhere. A lot of motion before this play, folks. And uh, that's a very slow reverse. I remember somebody saying he'd murder anyone who put reverses in their playbook. Can't remember who said that, though. Hmm. Well, so far, the All-Stars offense looks like dog shit. Here comes Jeremy Irons with a return. He's not fast, he's not impressive, but he will cross midfield almost, gets to midfield. And here we go. The Oaks, here comes a QB run to the top sideline. Wow, the entire field opens up for him. And that'll be a first down. Six nothing after the first quarter. It's been all Oaks so far. 
They're gonna call the same play again. Why not? After it's set up so nicely the last time. Another big gain and another first down. Takes the Oaks to the edge of the red zone. This is the least favorite QB run of mine. I believe I mentioned that before, but I love the sound of my own voice, so I'm going to say it again. And here's that favorite QB run of mine. They're down in three. They're just going to keep doing this, and I would do this over and over again if I could control the play calling. I would just call this play over and over and over again. Actually going to try to pass. Looking for a receiver, and that will be a touchdown, folks. Total recall. Spiking the ball from Arnold. Well, it is still early, but that is definitely not how. Mike Petrosic wanted his attorney all-stars to start this one off, folks. And since he doesn't put any money into special teams, he can't count on his returner to do too much. Shotgun play. Looking for a receiver. He's got one. Can he hit him? And he's going to badly overthrow it. At least 10 yards over his head there. And way out of bounds. And that looks like a called play. Conan the Destroyer. Woo! Don't know what to say at this point, folks. It's not a whole lot positive to say about the All-Stars' efforts here in the first half. And that may be their final possession before they go into halftime. Here comes Jeremy Irons with a pretty solid return. Uh, more than solid, folks. He takes this all the way back into field goal range and not a single tick off the clock. 56 Tecmo seconds. That's plenty of time to do some damage, especially if you're going to occasionally... Oh, my goodness. The All-Stars finally show up. Even a field goal in that situation might have... Spelled the end. Oh, that offense. They, I think they have a net of like negative 25 yards so far this game. My guess is that the Attorney All-Stars offense is not set up for this situation. They're going to have to start calling plays that they weren't designed the offense wasn't designed to run. Oh, oh my good lord. Oh. I'm going to have PTSD after this one. And if I'm going to have PTSD, I know Mike is already shell-shocked and sitting under his desk. All right, All-Stars. If you're going to turn it around, now is the time. Got plenty of time. Got some options, too. The quarterback's just going to take it himself. Almost as though they just decided to say, fuck it. Here's another pass play. Plenty of pressure. Throws a good ball, but for whatever reason, it's not caught. Shotgun formation. Looking for a receiver. Will not have time to find one. Big sack. The pouncing pecs. He's had plenty of sacks in this game. Uh, so far in this preseason, I should say. He's got a wide open receiver at the top. Can he find him? Is he on target this time? He is. Folks, this might be the play to get the... Oh, my goodness <sighs> well it's up to the all-stars defense now <clears throat> they gotta hold them and save a little bit of time and 
they don't seem to have an open guy. Or if they did, the quarterback just heaves it out of bounds anyway. And the All-Stars will get the ball back in short order. Will it be enough? We're already almost done with the third quarter. Nice punt. They'll have to return it from their own 10. Crossing the 30. Right at the 30, they'll take them down. And here we go. Motion. Oh, my goodness. Not many options here. Medium level throws it into coverage. It's picked off. Oh. I just don't know what to say at this point. Oaks looking to tack on a few more points to their lead. Third down and six already. Here's that QB run to the top sideline. They better be ready for it or this will be a touchdown. And folks, it's not a touchdown. Oh, fourth and inches. What a play. Hanging on by a thread now, All-Stars. 18 nothing. That makes this a four possession game. Merman needs to do something spectacular here. Makes plenty of people miss, but when you return it five yards deep from your own end zone, you got your work cut out for you. Here's an open man deep. Is he going to throw it? No, he's going to take a sack. Oh, my God. At this point, the, the Oaks are just sticking their thumb in the wound. Throwing it deep way over his head. A play's been open. That route has been open several times, but the quarterback just can't seem to hit it. And, folks... Ugh. Throws it into coverage again. Last time he did that, it was a pick on that play, on that particular route. Fourth and 12. They're going to call a reverse. Man gets over there in coverage to knock it away. <laughs> 35 seconds to go, folks. Well, ah, bounces in. It was terribly inaccurate, but from that distance, it's hard to miss. And here comes Merman again with 31 Tecmo seconds to go. Yeah, more of the same, unfortunately. Quarterback making all kinds of bad decisions. All kinds of bad throws. Finally, he hits him on a JJ. Trap jaw gets taken down immediately, though. And folks, 21 nothing, Complete shutout. If I calculate correctly, the All-Stars had 70 total yards of offense. Yowza. This is Joe Shitbag Mitchell signing off.